What's going down, AMD family? And if you're here, you're wondering, how do I download a driver for a GPU or a graphics card? Well, as provided you have the current generation of what they've been writing the architecture on with AMD, which spans pretty long. I mean, you'd have to have an old school card in order for you to have to use like the Crimson edition. That, that stuff's like old school. Um, that's usually when you're using like Crossfire and all this other stuff, the old school technology of yesterday. But today's technology of what we have in RDNA, RDNA 2, and the predecessor to that, which is still in today's current generation, there are the adrenaline software that fits. If you either be the 2019 transitioning to 2000. 2020 and what we're at right now you can see there's a lot of differences and if you follow the channel what's going down techies and techettes i always appreciate you popping in but this is mainly for people that want two different formats of how to download directly and depending on how you want to do it so let's go ahead and get down to the basic formats First and foremost, one of my faves, personally, is just utilizing the actual physical portion of the Adrenaline software. You can open it right here, and you can just check. And you can see at this point in time, bam, check for the latest update. The 17th, sure enough, there's a brand new update. So guess what I'm gonna be doing right after this? patch notes ladies and gentlemen so you can see that this actually physically works on the situation but how else do I actually physically do this right? Well, you can visit AMD's site that's conveniently located inside of the description down below that I have for you guys and gals. Now, one of the cool things that you can get into for as far as utilizing this is it has every single tailored version that you want, even the old school version. So if you have your card, you match it up to that actual physical model number. And if it's the old school version, it'll tell you. If it's the new school version, it'll tell you the most proper version. So let's go ahead and pick out mine, for instance. And as you can see, the last thing that I was searching here was for my chipset, which I'm going to be doing another great driver set for people on patch notes for the AMD family that have processors and you're wanting to make sure it's tuned to your graphics card. And that will make a big difference, actually, in today's performance and the way you want to have it work with that Infinity Fabric. But for right now, go ahead and select your card. I'm going to go ahead and select mine. And it's very easily laid out. Then I hit Submit. It's going to take you directly to where you need to go. Scroll down. You're going to select the Windows version that you have or a Linux version, depending on how you have. And I'm going to be building a Linux version pretty soon. It's going to be pretty sweet. Now, you can see right now that there's two different versions. You have the 20.4.1. Now, hold on now. I said patch notes for the people that are watching that love these installments you'll know that well there's no real update 20.4.1 well that was the current one that i did well i'm going to be doing a mid patch note because windows affects everything so i'm going to be running the test right after this and showing you guys and gals what windows has an effect on a current installed portionable driver for all the community members that have committed to me i've committed a new installment for you now at the same time, if you are new to the network, you can always subscribe, it's absolutely free. I have constant content for as far as driver installation and patch notes and what they affect for FPS improvements, all that fun stuff. And as you can see, I'm always expanding the repertoire of what I'm doing here. Now looking at for as far as what you want to do, you can go to the release notes or you can just tune in, super easy for me, or you can hit the download button. That's going to trigger it up down below and you're going to download it and you're going to install it. Now I'm having a whole other separate video on installing it and doing clean installs. That will be on its own, but for right now at this point in time, that should be everything that you seek in order to find the driver that you need for your GPU to get started. Now, if you have any other issues, like I said, I'll be creating another video that will be explaining how to install anywhere from utilizing both tool sets that we just basically covered right now at this portion in time. My name is Mac. Have a very nice day. Thanks for tuning in here at the MacGyver 7 channel. And if you subscribe today, who knows? Maybe, just maybe, Final Fantasy 7, the remake, the second edition will be free. And if you subscribe today, I'll totally cover that if it does happen. That'd be amazing. But anyways, everyone, all subscription humor aside, thank you so much. And I'll see you guys and gals in the near future for more tech-related information, gaming-related information, all well-rounded, awesome, fun times. Because Comic-Con still happened this year. If it's happening, I'm there. And everyone gets to watch. It's going to be amazing. All right, everyone. I'll see you guys and gals later.